Hello guys, it's RageStorm51 here for, here for another Fortnite video. We're also known as Frostboss Place here, back here on the channel here. So in this video, we'll be talking about the return of Moisty Meyer tomorrow and tomorrow's um, V10.20 content update, as well as the um, as we're as well as we're discussing the storyline for season X so far. And we're all in the future, and what we think the live event's gonna be, as well as some um rankings for the skins in our list. Or I mean, not any skins, but we're gonna be ranking all the seven locations that have appeared in season X so far. But before we get in the video, I want to make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn the bell on so you don't miss a single video. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. So as you can see on screen, we have the shield bubble. This is one bubble that's not easy to burst. Shield yourself from projectiles with this protective dome. So, yeah, this item should be expected to come in tomorrow's update as well. Pretty much almost guaranteed to come. So, it seems like it's going to be some sort of mech counter or some sort of crazy um, type of, like, domination of item that I think is going to be able to protect you from, like, opponents and, like, enemies and all kind of sort of stuff. So, possibly, like, a free, like, buy one or something that you can go in place and, like, some, like, little, like, trophy. I don't even know what I'm saying. Like, so maybe, like, some, like, I don't even know what this item Probably, like, some free, like, Florida Fortress maybe type item where you can, like, throw it and you get, like, your own or something. And it's, like, I think it'll have, like, a lot of health. Maybe some, like, the ballers because it's, like, some sort of so possibly uh, um, the much as well. Oh, anything, and it, it probably will be a probably a really really good item in the game. So we should probably be expecting the the item to be useful. I'm not really sure how many is gonna be stacked. My prediction is gonna be probably like four per. I mean two when you pick it up for two per stack and then you can max it up by like four or something. I think it's gonna be like where you can throw it and then you can maybe click a button if you want to move and rotate again and if you have another one you can throw it down again. I think it'd be like a certain distance you can suck your squad in or I'm not really too sure, but it, it should be a pretty cool item. And I don't want to discuss too much of it, but we'll be seeing that in tomorrow's update. And I'll maybe and I'll probably get some gameplay and all kinds of streams and videos about this um tomorrow with a lot of other people and possibly on this channel. This is just your update for the day. As well as we have the Rift Beacon um in the desert biome. It is about to update and pretty much bring back Moisty Mire. Maybe not completely replacing the entire desert. I made a video of this before a few days ago discussing Moisty Mire's return. But it's probably not going to be completely replacing the entire desert. Um, maybe the bottom portion. Because in the files it's called Moisty Palms. And there's also some files that say some challenges in desert. But it's also, a lot of people are speculating that maybe Moisty Mire is only replacing a portion of the desert. And it's only going to be like a, a little bit of a different location. So so we should be expecting something pretty big um, in the update um, tomorrow. Another theory we have about the desert biome is that possibly the entire desert biome is going to be covered and Moisty Mario is going to completely return again tomorrow. I highly doubt this though because I think more than likely we're only going to have a like, portion of Moisty Mario or another even when I said it's more likely that I think we'll be receiving some sort of like a um, mini version of Moist Tomorrow that's completely different, but maybe this is possible. I think it's more likely than the entire Desert Bomb will be replaced by Moist Meyer. I can possibly see maybe the mixture of Desert Bomb with Moist Meyer. So maybe some like grass and trees and mud around the desert area in some different areas. I'm not too sure. There's a lot of theories and a lot of stuff I wanted to, I wanted to discuss here. So who knows? I have another theory. I think this could be very likely. It could maybe replace half of Moist Meyer. It's like the bottom portion where like. Desert biome near the 08 truck in Oasis in Mexico town or something. So that area should be removed. So go land there quickly. You only about less than 24 hours to go. Because downtime begins at 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the funny thing is, Fortnite tweet, they said downtime begins or drop in get cover. So I think that's hinting for the new item or possibly Moisty Meyer um, returning. So I don't really know. But another theory I have is about, like, the maybe Moist Team are having some, like, different theme to it rather than just some sort of magical theme. Maybe it could have some sort of, um, it could be, like, Moist Team are, like, today or, like, a long time ago mixed in with some, like, magical stuff inside of it. Maybe, like, sparkles. 
Kevin the King stuff. Because uh, there's also this map in called Fortnite a lock where you had to climb this like super horde. Um, I mean big mountain, which uh, was like, creative mode Fortnite, and it was pretty cool. I think that would be really cool. I'm um, see in the game. Um, obviously it also makes sense because obviously in Moisty Mar we had shafts. But like gnome areas a bunch of trees and like maybe tree houses and all kinds of cool stuff like that and that was definitely in the mountain or in the loft which is really crazy so and also kevin the cube was spawned in the rift zone will most likely be touching where kevin the cube spawned so maybe kevin the cube is returns likely i made a video about kevin the cube's birthday possibly his return which didn't happen i thought it was more than likely gonna happen but if you guys do want to check it out we got some good live memories of kevin if you want to go check the video about it and see all the live events that took place with Kevin um, that is on our channel um, description or list. Um, so make sure you go check that out if you haven't already. Also check the Moisty Meyer video. And so it's really, really cool that um, the Fortnite map is going to be changing. It's crazy, guys. We're going to be seeing it. I want to see some magical. Kevin, please return. Maybe we can get some like, magical theme going. Now, like, for the rankings, so in Season X, we got seven new locations. So coming to a number seven spot is going to be the location we got in last week's update, replacing the soccer stadium. It is a really lame new addition to the map, and I really don't know why it's here. So, yeah, it's pretty much pretty much, pretty much already explaining itself. So that's coming number seven. Number six is going to be the Meteor. I mean, there's plenty of loot. There's loot there, but, I mean, it, it can be better. Coming to a number five spot is um, going to be Factories. I'm sorry, but Factories is, is good. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna put Loot Lake there, and it's kind of sad to say this, because Loot Lake used to be my favorite location. I don't like where how the fight in there now. Uh, it, it got a little bit worse in my opinion. Um, number four, factories. Number three is going to be Dusty Depot. And number one, obviously, Tilted Town. And I forgot to add one more. It's gonna be Retail Row, but, um, Tilted Town comes number one. But, sorry guys, that, that is, my rankings really didn't come in order. I, because I'm, I didn't really didn't, I don't have much time left in the video. So, I have a bigger plan for next time. It's not my main plan. So, yeah, guys, um, I'm going to do another ranking video later this season, guys. At, probably at the end of the season. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Leave your theories if you like my ideas down in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.